Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining you Code Forces 693 Div 3 problem long jump. And in this problem, it's actually a straightforward um, DP problem. So what actually they want us to find? Now we're given an array A of n elements, huh? and we're given some indexes, indexes of those elements. Now uh, the the thing that we have to find is we have to find a starting positions of that game such that if I start from this position at the end of the game I will have the maximum score okay now the possible starting positions will always be from I equal to 1 to n and the game will end at greater than n position okay okay so now we're given n values an array consisting of n elements and my starting positions can be from 1 to n um, so how does the operation looks how will I move to the right now here they have said that you will move to the right uh, if you choose a position you will move to the right by AI position adding AI positions with your current position I will explain you how this is happening let's take this example here uh, 7 3 1 2 3 I've got five elements and all other dispositions all of them are greater than n which means greater than 5 now if I start if my if I say that my starting position is this which is 1 now what is the value here 7 so my next position will be 1 plus 7 1 plus 7 means 8th position. Now 8th position is already greater than n which means 5 which means you have ended the game and your final score will be added as 7 okay your final score will be added as 7. Now if you have started uh, from 3 what would happen? Let's say I'm starting from 3 now, then if I move to the next uh, index I have to add my current index with the value okay so 2 plus 3 the next index will be 2 plus 3 means 5 so after this if I start from here after this I will move here by adding the score of what 3 so that's exactly what they have said okay when I move to the right I will add my score of the current positions value and I will move to the current position value plus my current positions okay so I will move to where my current current position plus the current position value th okay that position the value index I will move to the right now what will be adding uh, what we will add uh, our current value the current value will be added as my score so if I start from here my score is 3 right now right now and if I move to the right I will move where 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 means fifth index now I'm here now if I move to the right I will have to add 5 plus 3 which is 8 which is greater than n or 5 here and my game is ended but before before making that move I also added this score because I am here so my total count is 3 plus 3 6 okay so in this way they have say uh, they are saying that okay then let us uh, just fi uh, just find me the exact position where you will start such that you will always get the maximum score now if you uh, analyze this problem you will understand that instead of moving from uh, from the first one instead of checking from the first position to the last till the last if I move backwardly then it I can save some values okay if I move backwardly I can save some values which will be helpful later how is this gonna help us let me explain you with a bit of analyzing let's take an example here um they're giving okay seven three one okay no not seven this is not a very good example uh, should i take this 
two, one, four, is it good? Uh, two. Okay, let's take this. Okay, seven, three, one, two, three. Okay, like seven, three, one, two, three. Okay, so what I told you, I will move the array from lot from the backwards to the front. Okay, I will traverse from the last. Why I'm doing this? Because if I do this, look, I'm ending at greater than n. Uh, my game will end at greater than n uh, nth, uh, id. Okay, id. Uh, I mean the index, when the index is greater than n, only then the game ends. So instead of moving from checking the positions from the first, if I check the positions from the last, I can save the, those values for the value later that I'm traversing, which is actually uh, from the leftmost. Okay, so from the rightmost uh, corner, I will start to traverse and store some values. And what will be that value? I will make you understand now. First one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay. Now, when I traverse this, okay, I will assume that yes, this is my starting position. Okay. So for this value, okay, this is my starting position. And uh, yeah, um, well, this uh, I will I actually always know the last positions value right it will always be the value of that array because I am actually in the last position it doesn't matter where <laughs> if I go uh, no matter how much steps I go right it will always be the answer so let's take DP of 5 will always be 3 right because I'm already I'm already in the last position. If I go one step right, I'm the game ends, and this is my score. That's it. Now, the fun part comes next. Then I'm traversing from right right to left. Now I'm facing here, right? I'm facing here. Now when I'm facing here, what will I check? First, I will check with an if condition, and I'm I'm gonna add those values. I'm gonna add the operation here. Okay. I'm gonna add the operation uh, now if I add these values which is actually I and AI which is what I have to do always so I'm gonna have to check some conditions here now if I do I plus AI what does it give 4 plus 6 what does it give 6 which is already what greater than n right greater than n because here's here n is actually 5 I am getting 6 so this also makes the value uh, uh, so this also actually finishes the game within uh, within the first step so for this value also I'm getting the re same result so for DP of 4 I'm also getting what 4 because from here I, where can I go like 4 plus 2 right 4 plus 2 where 6 just one step and I'm getting the I'm I'm just ending the game so if I start from I can also also say that if I start from here I will always end up scoring what four if I start from the here I will also end up scoring what three uh, actually um, oh sorry actually it was uh, 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 yeah yeah sorry sorry I will also end up scoring here two and here three yeah that's good I will also end up scoring what uh, here if I start from here I will also end up scoring what three and if I start from here I will also end up scoring what two because I'm at the first step I'm just ending the game now the fun part is here how now you will understand why the, the why I'm traversing from the last why it's saving us some values that we can pre-calculate that we have pre-calculated for the left ones now for this what do I do? I've always said I already said that I will check an if condition. What is its next index? Right? Now, if I do this, one plus three, what is one plus three? Four, right? So if I start from here, I will move to fourth index. Okay, let's go to the fourth index. Okay, one plus three. Okay, let's go to the fourth index. Fourth index is where? There. Next. Now 
I have already calculated if I started from fourth index, what will be my maximum result? Two. Did you get my point? That's exactly why I'm doing this because I'm saving the leftmost, okay, the leftmost indexes next indexes value I am already pre-computing from the rightmost. That's why exactly why I'm traversing from the right. Okay, so why uh, so for this value, what will be the array? DP of three will be one, which is because I'm here currently in this position, so I have to take this score plus. Uh, where will it move uh, to the next uh, step? It will move to one plus three, fourth index. Now, I uh, I already know. I already I don't have to calculate uh, if I start from four. What will be the maximum? Because I've already calculated from the rightmost. What is that? DP of four is DP of four is two. Yes, two. So two plus one is what three. And I'm also saving that here. Isn't it interesting? This is very interesting because. What, what I'm actually doing, I'm just saving the values and I'm traversing from the right. It is helping us. That's exactly what we call as so-called typical name as dynamic programming. Now, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, go for this one. Now, okay, if I start from here, um, my initial score will be dp of 2. Initial score will, will be 3. And if I go to the next one, what will be? 3 plus 2. What is 3 plus 2? 3 plus 2 means 5. Uh, 3 plus 2 means 5. So, um, what is the fifth, uh, fifth index? So, for, from here, I will move to where? The next index is where? Here. Isn't that right? Yes. I will move to here. Now I have already pre-computed. I don't have to work uh, work a lot because I've already pre-computed that for for this value's highest value. What is that? Three. So three plus three is equal to what? Six. So I will also uh, computing this, and I will also computing the maximum score that I can get if I start from that index. Now here comes the here comes the last one. Seven. Okay. Uh, I will initially get 7 score plus where will I step up next 7 plus 1 is 8 like I am gonna be at the 8th index now I'm, I'm here this is also like the base cases you know uh, like the last cases because 7 plus 1 is 8 I don't have to move any index to the right because just just going for one step is making uh, is making the end of the game okay the game ends uh, just one step for this value and also I'm storing these values in my DP which is what DP of 1 equal to 7 now out of all the DPs sorry for that out of all the DPs what is the maximum the maximum is 7 which means if I start from this position which is the first position I will always get the maximum value so I'll take you to the code part you will understand more now here what we did we just taken the test cases and n and values here comes the dp part and uh, here we are taking input value of the ai and initial initial value of each of the index is actually ai because if i start from that index it will always be that score right it doesn't matter if you give it give this value here or not because we are already cal uh, calculating here it doesn't matter if you give it. I just maybe in the contest time I was not sure about this. But if you assign it here or not, it doesn't matter because uh, we are already doing it here. Now here's the fun part. We told you um, I will move from the rightmost, rightmost to the leftmost, right? Now what I said, I will I will check this. I plus AI, the same thing that I I did. I plus AI, right? Now, I plus AI. If it is greater than N, then DP of I equal to AI because it has already what finish the game so dp of i equals to its current current scoreboard now if that does not happen which means it there has to be some index that it will, it will step up right uh, right next to the right okay from that index so what will be that dp of i what uh, okay dp of i equals to dp of i which means its current index 
what is the current indexes value I have already stored here AI you could also not store that you could also uh, write AI doesn't matter if you do this I just actually pre-assigned it that's why I am actually giving this it doesn't matter which one you go so what we will do dp of i equal to dp of i plus dp of i plus ai because i have already calculated the next one because already i have traversed from the rightmost that's it so uh that's exactly it and we are also maximizing from which index uh, st starting from which index will give us the optimal result and finally we are um, just printing the result the maximum score that we can get we could get if, if we start from any index from 1 to n it doesn't matter so I hope I made you understand that and uh, yeah until next time goodbye